This is a kidnapping that has shocked the whole world. A 10-year-old girl was held in a secret room for 8 years, the female lead is Natasha, she lives in a family with an alcoholic father. That day, since Natasha woke up late, her mother gave her a slap. Because of her trauma, Natasha brought her small bag and left home. But she did not expect, because of a moment of anger that she will encounter regret for life. When she woke up, she found she was in a dark room. The room is very small, takes a few steps to reach the end of the room. At night, the room does not have any light. Natasha was extremely scared, shouting for her mother. But unfortunately her mother could not answer. Squatting in a corner of the dark room, Natasha didn't know how long she had been here. In the end, Natasha couldn't take it anymore and begged the man who kidnapped her. Tell her a story and kiss her goodnight just like her mother used to. A 10-year-old girl needs this kind gesture to dispel her anxiety. Seeing the girl's frightened expression, the man lit a lamp and brought her a cake. Because of that, Natasha felt very grateful. The man lied to Natasha, saying her parents don't need her anymore. They refused to hand over the ransom, also said Natasha was an orphan. Yet Natasha believed his words. But Natasha did not know that, that day, a friend saw everything. Natasha's parents are also looking for her everywhere. Uh, are you being good? The man's kindness made Natasha absolutely believe. Natasha even gave him a letter. Hope he can pass it on to her parents. But he didn't send it, but tore it off. Natasha has been in this dark room for several months. That room is in the basement, and is covered with a safe. The sun is not seen all year round. Because of that, Natasha's skin became increasingly pale. Because the room was hidden too well, when the police arrived. They even stepped on the basement door and didn't notice it. Natasha was desperate and had to find a way to escape on her own. She tried various innocent ways. For example draw a lock on a door, or mix ketchup with toothpaste to pretend to be burned. Natasha held out her arm and told the man to take her to the hospital. But he quickly found out and was no longer as gentle as at first. He started to become violent. He was constantly brainwashing Natasha. No. You have to obey me. Obey me. Yes I will. Obey me. Obey me. Obey But this way is also in vain. So after Natasha tried to escape, he starved her for four days. Natasha had to beg the man. Please bring me something to eat. I'm so hungry. I'll be good. And so, the man has devised a way to control Natasha. During the four years, the man continuously starved Natasha many times. That's why Natasha now looks extremely thin. Natasha has learned how to be submissive, to please a man. You don't want to do what I say. Don't give me any lip. Yes. Wipe that look off your face. Christ! One day, while reading a book, she discovered she was menstruating. She is extremely worried. The man saw shouted. Okay, this is disgusting. Just... He's a clean-minded man, so he made Natasha wipe everything clean. Finally, he agreed to let Natasha out of the basement to take a bath. This is the first time Natasha has been showered after four years of imprisonment. To keep Natasha clean, the man shaved off her long hair. After shaving their heads, the two sat silently looking at each other. It seems that over the past four years, Natasha has gotten used to pleasing this man. When he gave Natasha gifts, Natasha also pretended to be happy. Wow! A Walkman! Thank you! And what is needed will also come. Then the man took Natasha out of the basement to go to the room where he slept. That night, the man bought a white underwear for Natasha. Then announced, tonight will be their wedding night. So later that night, Natasha gained a new identity, which was his wife. Then Natasha pleaded with the man to take her out into the garden. The man agrees. It was the first time Natasha had been breathing the open air after years of imprisonment. Natasha craved to touch the tree, the leaves, and felt each grass under her feet. While Natasha's mother was at home crying and suffering for the past few years. The grandmother also knit Natasha a sweater. That shirt fits Natasha's current age. She will need something warm when she comes back. But they don't know, the baby they once held in their arms is living in hell. Natasha was tortured during the seven years there. Not only being imprisoned, Natasha also had to take care of that man. Not so much! You put the placemats down first. How many times do I have to tell you? Even my mother does it ten times five. This control-loving man is a man dependent on his mother. Before, it was the mother who took care of him. Now that mom is gone, he has to change to another woman. He always wanted Natasha to do everything he wanted. Since when do you need panties? What are you brainless? Put something down there! Natasha will be beaten even if she only made a small mistake. Where's the dog? Ah! Dog ah! teeth! Not only that, he also restricts Natasha's food. Don't think for a minute you're gonna have any of this. Natasha was too hungry to put the fish in her mouth. More than seven years beaten and brainwashed, making Natasha haunted for a long time. That's why she gave up on running. 
Until one day, Natasha heard something on the radio. It turns out that for a long time, Natasha's parents have always been looking for her. This gave Natasha more courage to run away again. The flame of freedom was lit once again. That night, Natasha mustered up the courage to ask the man. Why did you pick me? Running from failure over and over again made Natasha very hopeless. Natasha cried bitterly in the room, then turned on the kitchen to burn a suicide note. But Natasha's desire to live overcame the pain. The man discovered and beat Natasha again. He doesn't understand why Natasha wants to destroy all these beautiful things. The weak Natasha only had to quietly write down the number of times she was beaten on toilet paper. The box quickly filled with paper. At the same time, Natasha had another chance to escape. The man took Natasha to go skiing. In the restroom, Natasha was first exposed to humans after years of imprisonment. Unexpectedly, Natasha had gathered up the courage to tell all of her secrets. But unfortunately this person is a foreigner. What happened in that toilet? That night, Natasha was beaten again. Then came Natasha's 18th birthday. After being beaten many times, Natasha also had to learn to pretend to be obedient. It looks like Natasha gave up on the run to change her fate. Seeing Natasha slowly surrendering, the man gradually dropped his guard. Once, he left Natasha alone in the backyard. He forgot to lock the gate, seeing that door Natasha rushed out. When the man found out, Natasha had run across the train track. But even if Natasha escapes, then what happened during the past eight years will still haunt her for the rest of her life. Natasha would have had a better life than that.